up Aries and thank you guys so much for tuning in all right guys so let's look into our February reading let's see what's going on so this is going to be for Sun Moon rising and Venus air signs and keep in mind guys like I always say the energies could be transferable so it could be something that I'm picking up on uh, about you or something around you something like an environment around you let's see if I'll be able to talk properly in this video all right Let's mix these cards up well. What is going on for the sign of Aries? The page of wands came out so this could be a new idea that you guys have this could be some sort of offer that comes in for you an offer that you guys are making maybe a conversation that you're initiating right so we have past present and we have future okay so the energy that you guys have here is the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Now, this doesn't always have to be a bad thing. Um, this could simply just mean that things are happening in a way that you didn't expect. You saw it going this way, and it actually took a hard left. But you don't know where left leads, okay? So with this, it could be when something happens unexpectedly, okay? But at certain times, it could just be when something um, just doesn't work in a good way, okay? Now we have the Queen of Cups and the Ten of Wands. Okay, so there might be some sort of burden here that's felt. Maybe it has to do with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio specifically. But I feel like there is a reckless situation being let go of. And you guys are really just trying to get to a place where you feel peace within yourself. Okay, so let's start with the past, guys. The first card that we have here is the full card. So going into unmarked territory, starting something completely new, um, being very excited about this beginning. Why is this full card here? We have the Seven of Cups in the reverse. And we have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. So some of you could have decided to go back to something from the past. And I feel like you seemed very sure about what this was. Now, specifically with what this is, you could have been associated with it in some way, shape, or form, but it's like the way you're moving into this new chapter, you're, you're handling something in a completely different way. So um, an example of this would be, you know, maybe a friend from the past comes back into your life and you guys have never been anything more than friends, but you decide to be now. So it's like, yes, this person comes back in, but there's something new. There's something different about this aspect of things. All right. So that could be with, you know, job, just anything in your life. So there's something new that you guys are starting here and you feel very happy with this. You feel very good with this. You feel like it's meant to be in your life. You feel like it makes you a better person. Okay. But maybe there's manipulation here. Maybe there's cheating involved here something like that. Okay. The next card you guys have for the past is the tower card. So a huge tower moment where it feels like the ground beneath you, um, you know, was just kind of ripped. This doesn't mean good. This doesn't necessarily mean bad. Uh, it just means a huge change that you guys have to endure. So what's going on here? What causes this tower moment? We have the Knight of Cups in the reverse. And the Queen of Cups. It could have been um, a situation where there's some sort of cheating uh, involving a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Or someone was just manipulating something. Someone felt uneasy about something. Someone started something that they wanted to be in for a while, but maybe you had to keep it secret for whatever reason. But there's something that you know deep, deep down inside. It's like you're not worried about whether this is going to work or not. But maybe just going into this new beginning, 
there could be an unstable transition to getting there. But for the most part, it's like you really zone into yourself and, and you feel that this is something that's good for you and something that you want. Okay, the last card that we have for the past is the Three of Cups in the reverse. So again, for some of you, maybe you just found a new love partner, you had to leave someone behind. So maybe there is some sort of third party situation. Keep in mind, this could be vice versa. So it could be something that was happening to you. Um, this could be removing yourself from a group of friends. This could be someone who was suffering through sadness or, you know, some sort of depression. All right. So why is this Three of Cups in the reverse here for the past? What's going on with this? We have the Three of Pentacles. I just feel that you guys, whether it's a relationship or not, you guys build something while having something be unfinished. Or maybe you're building something um, and working through sadness or depression, okay? But this could be something that's bringing you wealth. This could be something that has to do with a uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But you know in your soul that something just wasn't good for you. Okay, that you had to move past it. And you could have articulated that. I see a very honest conversation here where someone says, look, this isn't going to work for me. Okay, I can't do this anymore. It's unstable. I need time to myself. I need to remove myself from this situation. Okay. All right, Aries. So for the present moment, the first card that we have is the Ace of Wands. So again, going towards this passionate new beginning. So what does this beginning entail? Two of Swords. And the Ace of Swords. You guys have two possible beginnings here. You're trying to choose which one you want. Okay. One is toxic for you and it's hard for you to let go of and it brings a lot of burden. That could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn specifically. But I see a lot of reckless decision making here okay the problem not i don't want to say problem this isn't a problem you guys found something that's very very good for you that will fulfill you that makes you extremely happy whether it be a soulmate if this is love i see this being a person that you marry if you're not married to them but this is something that's very solid so it's just like i found something so good at a time where it might be difficult to release something else so that's what that's really what i'm picking up on but with the center of your reading, guys, and this is going to be the core energy to everything, it's you, the emperor. So you're going to do ultimately what's right. Okay. This is someone that despite what they're feeling, they're going to make the decision that benefits everybody the most. Okay. You're going to do the wise thing, the smart thing, the necessary thing. Eight of Swords in the reverse, being able to see clearly. That something was unstable and that you had to remove yourself. Okay, so you guys are really, really bossing up. And at the end of this, you choose what to let go of. So what do you let go of? All right, so we have... Five of Pentacles, a card of loss, rejection, someone feeling left out in the cold. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, so you guys are choosing to take a path that really, really makes you happy, but you have to reject something in your life for it to happen. So things just don't go as expected there. Um, but you just feel it's too burdening. And there's a sense of you having to address this because it's it's like you, you're in the gray area with this. You haven't fully closed something out. So you have these two things. You know in your heart what you're going to go towards, but you know that um, there's an explanation that may be needed or someone may need closure, something like that. So you're deciding to put something in the past and you're deciding, look, this is going to be a waste of time. It won't be successful. Okay. So moving forward, Aries, the first card that we have here is the Queen of Wands in the reverse, okay? So this could be you guys being very angry, being very dramatic. Um, this is just an angry and dramatic person in general, so it doesn't have to be you. It could be someone around you, but why is this energy here? This could be someone who's jealous, someone who's just kind of just scary to be around when they're pissed off. We have the Nine of Pentacles. And we have the Hierophant and the Ten of Cups. Somebody is very angry that someone is choosing to be very self-sufficient and they're choosing to go towards what's going to give them personal abundance, okay? And not just abundance in regards to money, abundance in regards to your soul and just being happy. 
So someone takes the path that they're meant to be on and they find a lot of happiness here, but someone's just, they're not happy to see that happiness happen. A lot of you may have found a soulmate and it just changed the course of your life. Okay. Or you're letting go of something that you were once very closely tied to. But it's like before you guys fully move forward, you feel like there's something from the past that needs to be addressed in some way, shape, or form. Okay. So the next card that you guys have for the future is a page of cups in the reverse. So I feel that you guys, um, you see an offer as, it's like there's something that you can't trust here. Whether, sometimes this card could be like a pillow talk sort of card where things are being said in the heat of the moment, but uh, maybe a person doesn't really mean it. This could be you removing yourself from a conversation, somebody else removing themselves from a conversation. But if this is an offer, it's not a genuine one. Why is this Page of Cups in the reverse here? Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Let's get one more card. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. You guys already know it's a waste of time and effort. You guys are just battling yourself when it comes to um, making the necessary steps. With the High Priestess in the reverse, maybe you don't feel 100% confident in um, what you need to do. Maybe even though you know the truth, you're still going back and forth like, am I really doing the right thing? But this is someone who knows. They just, um, they're just being tough on themselves. So think logically, guys. There's something here that brings you great balance, that brings you great passion. But whose heart is it going to break or what sort of disappointment does it bring on okay and i don't feel the disappointment is yours all right at the end of the day you guys don't want to fight you don't want to argue you don't want to feel like there's any sort of competition going around why is this five of one in the reverse here we have the king of cups Ooh, these cards are flying all over the place and we have the two of wands in the reverse yeah, you guys just realized something's not going to be successful. It's not the best path for you. Um, you kind of felt lost on this path. You felt like you couldn't see clearly. And you're doing whatever needs to be done to have that emotional stability. Um, there is so much water here. So a lot of you could be dealing with the water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Whether they have it, you know, as their sun sign or, you know, a placement in their charts. They could just have a lot of water in their charts, okay? But yeah. You have to do something that causes some sort of loss, but somebody's not feeling the loss. Okay, so either you're Scott's free on this or someone else's. All right, but some sort of betrayal makes a person happy. And someone knows that they have to just stay away from something and they kind of reject it. But it was something that was karmic and it was something that, you know, at this point it's ran its course. Okay, so very interesting, guys. Now, I'm going to pull you guys three cards of guidance and advice. What sort of guidance can I give to Aries for February 2020? What sort of guidance can I give you guys? The High Priestess, you guys know exactly what needs to be done here. Your soul knows, every cell in your body knows what needs to be done. So we have the Two of Wands, Emperor in the reverse, Page of Wands in the reverse. You guys know exactly what's going to bring you passion right now, but you feel as though you can't own up to it 100%. You feel as though you're not being true to yourself by not going with this. So yes, there is something that you guys drop. There is something that you release. And I feel that you guys do what you need to do so that you can live freely and authentically and be able to be yourself without pissing anybody off around you. So I feel like you guys are going to do what's necessary and you're going to purge yourself of anything that is just inauthentic for you at this point. Okay. Something is being let go of. Maybe a love that's lost. But you guys feel very empowered and you know that something just wasn't meant to be in your life anymore. Why is this high priestess here? King of Cups in the reverse. Tower card in the reverse. Yeah, a lot of you found the passion um, and something other than what you had in your life already. So a new love while you may have had a love there. A better job while you were working at a current job. You know, something like that. 
But you dodge a lot of bullets with going towards your passion. Yeah, you guys stop doing anything inauthentic. You, you just don't have the energy to invest in that. Okay? And you guys get over something and you release it. You let it go. Okay? Yeah, the burden is released. You guys stand your ground. And you make a decision to cut something off, even if it's cut off in a conflicting way. Okay. All right, guys. So this was extremely interesting. We're going to see how things develop in the next reading I do for you guys. Now, if you guys have social media, you can follow me on Instagram, High Vibrations 44 And if you guys need a personal reading or anything, all of the information to get in touch with me is in the description below. And guys, if you need something quick, there is an emergency reading. It has a 24-hour turnaround. I'm here if you need me. Take care.